Welcome back. So what's on tap for the weekend? If you need a little inspiration, how about a the, trip to the movies? The movies. The movies are back. And this is a big movie. 25 years ago, Michael Jordan, Space Jam. 25 I years I can't old. believe it's been 25 it, years. It's hard to believe. Well, there's a, there's a brand new Space Jam on the block, folks. And this is LeBron James starring in this one. It's called Space Jam, A New Legacy. And uh, Don Cheadle is in it also. Had a chance to talk to him. So I think before we spread out a little more information for you, I want you to take a look and see what Don has to say. Welcome, King James. I am the king of this domain. This is the serververse. What'd you do to my son? Where's Don? The only way you're getting your son back is if you and I play a little basketball. Pete, send this clown to the rejects. Wait. Space Jam, A New Legacy launches into theaters with the king, LeBron James at the helm. Populated by a cast of loony characters, this jam pits Don Cheadle going one-on-one -on -one with LeBron. Welcome to the Space Jam. What's it like to get to know him? What's the relationship like? Oh, we had a great time. You know, most of our time, you know, we spent some time off set, but obviously most of our time was spent together on the set. Uh, while he was still trying to put the team together and nursing an injury and, you know, having to show up and be the lead in this movie. So he was wearing a lot of hats and he was every bit as professional as anyone uh, in that spot. And, you know, more so than you would have to be with, you know, I kept saying to him, you can be a lot bigger diva right now. You know that. <laughs> but he just wanted to be a team player and show up. And it was great to see that work ethic, you know, on the set that I imagine I see would see in, in practice all the time. And definitely you see on the court. Introducing the Goon Squad! What is this guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? What is he? I, I'll leave that up to people to decide. I don't ever want to go in and say what, what the person is. I think the audience is the best arbiter of, of, of who Al G is. Al doesn't think he's a bad guy, for sure. Right. Al thinks he's a misunderstood guy. Um, but it's, it's interesting, you know, to, to see you know, with social media, with where we are with clicks and likes and, and how that's all, you know, kind of been pulled in and made a part of this storyline is really interesting. I need to assemble an elite team to help give my son back. I know what you're looking for, a dream team. I know you've worked with other great basketball players in the past, George Clooney in Ocean, <laughs> <laughs> out there on the court. So do you use any of those moves you learned from George? Uh, uh, George, that I learned from George, uh, that's a bit oh. of indigenous history, David. Um, oh, okay. No, no, we <laughs> had a good time. I wish I would have had uh, the opportunity to play with LeBron. But like I said, I don't think that uh, the commissioner would have been too happy if he went out there and turned an ankle because he was, you know, playing one on one with me. <laughs> yeah, that's great. OK, if LeBron is the king, what are you? Uh, I stay away from monikers like that. Um, again, I'm just humble Don Cheadle. I'll let people tell me what they, they think I am. You are a humble man, and you're a great actor. Thanks a lot, Don. It's great to see you. Take it easy, man. Welcome to the Space Jam. That's why I love Don Cheadle. I love this guy. He's been nominated for Oscar a couple times, you know, Golden Globes, the whole nine yards. Very private guy. I try to get him to say what he did during the pandemic because, you know, everyone's stuck together. Well, he's his life mate. They've lived together for 22 years. So during the pandemic, he decided to get married. Oh. So I try to get him to say that. He goes, oh, no, I really don't talk much about my personal life. Yeah. That kind of thing. So he's, he's a great guy, though, a wonderful actor. And to talk about uh, this movie, big, big happening in Akron today. This is very exciting. Yeah, so LeBron set this thing up for all the kids that he, he helps in the Akron area. It's at the Akron Civic Theater. It's all day today. I think it already started. They have a movie for 8,500 of his kids. Wow. They bought popcorn and sodas for everybody. They got face painters there. They got balloon kind of things going on. So, you know, LeBron, you know, he moved. He moved back. He's in L.A. But his heart's in Akron, and he sure shows it today when he's got all those kids at the Akron Civic Theater seeing the movie today. So that's terrific. And, of course, people can see it here Friday. I think we're, we're going to be down there. We're going to cover some of that, too. So, And I think it's really exciting. I, you have to just add this to the list of the great debate of movies now. Who's the better actor, Jordan or LeBron? Well, mm. LeBron's been in a couple of movies, and he's been and pretty. He's been really he's good. Been, yeah, he's been he's really been good. He's been a great actor, yeah. I must say. And the beginning of this movie is sort of interesting because it's sort of like a personal life kind of thing. It's like he's interacting with his son and with his wife, and it's not his real son, and it's not his real wife. So it's really sort of trippy to watch, you know, to see, you know, how he, how he noodles his way through that. So it's pretty good. And animation acting, as we, I hear, who was it? You were just talking with someone. Oh, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Saying right. how it's very difficult to do animation. 
um, acting. So, yeah. hey, LeBron, it's hats off to you. All the energies in the voice. Yeah. There you go. Very cool.